Dulaphone may not be the first name you think of when it comes to smartphones, but they have one interesting device, which is called the Future. This is Linus, stay tuned. The phone comes in a pretty nice box and the contents include all the usual items you would expect to come with any phone. Some extras include a fast charger, USB to micro USB adapter, and a high quality TPU case. Eulaphone Future costs 240 bucks, which may sound quite expensive, but the device has quite a lot to offer. The phone stands out from the crowd of affordable devices due to its bezel-less display. I have to tell you that it indeed looks great. However, the view on the very edges of the display is a little bit distorted to make that bezel-less look, but I'm okay with that. The 5.5 inches 1080p LCD panel itself is great. It is sharp and crisp and the color reproduction is good. We have a 5 megapixel selfie shooter along with a non-customizable multicolor LED flash on the top and on-screen navigation buttons instead of capacitive ones. Also, the phone sports a premium all-metal design with nano-injected antenna lines and a great build quality. The buttons are nice and tactile and the phone feels very nice in the hand. We don't see a side fingerprint scanner very often on budget phones, but it is actually very convenient to reach. The scanner is not the fastest I've tested, but it gets the job done. As far as camera, we have a 16 megapixel shooter coupled with a dual LED flash. The loudspeaker is on the bottom and it sounds tinny as on most of budget phones. You can put either two SIMs or one SIM and the micro SD card in the hybrid slot. I love the supplied SIM injector pin. You can just insert it in the headset jack and leave it there. Eulaphone Future has some pretty good specs. The phone ships with an Octacar MediaTek Helio P10 chip with a clock speed of 2GHz, 4GB of RAM and 32GB of expandable storage. These are pretty good specs for the price, to say the least. The gaming performance is good if you play games on medium graphics. If you set graphics to maximum, you should expect quite a bit of stutter and some skipped frames. We have a pretty standard Android 6.0 user interface. We don't have any fancy features or customization options, but most importantly, the device is fast and you should not expect any hiccups on a daily basis. The daylight image quality is pretty good yet not always consistent. You can get some nice and detailed shots, but the camera may struggle with dynamic range in some situations. The low-light camera performance is not so great, but this is what you usually get with the phones in this price range anyway. The selfie camera is not very impressive, but it will be enough for social media. The 1080p video quality is pretty good for the budget phone. I didn't have any connectivity issues with the phone as the signal reception was good and the call quality was decent. Also the Wi-Fi worked fine. The GPS may take a little bit longer to get the position but it is pretty accurate. The 3000 mAh battery can be fully charged in 1 hour and 30 minutes thanks to the included fast charger. The battery life is pretty good. I could get over 4 hours of screen on time on a mixed use. Eulaphone Future is one of those devices that wants to stand out from the crowd and the company succeeded in quite a few ways. The bezel-less display design indeed looks great, the phone sports some great specifications, all-metal construction is premium and the phone looks and feels more expensive than it costs. Also, we have a decent camera for daylight images, a fingerprint sensor and a fast charge support. On the other hand, it would have been nice to see a more powerful processor for 3D gaming and a little bit faster fingerprint scanner. At the price of 240 bucks, Yolophone Future may not be the only device you have to look for in this price range, but if you want a phone with unique looks, decent specs and good day-to-day -day performance, it may be worth checking out. 
It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions about the device, please drop me a comment down below. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and see you in the next video soon.